Hey, how you doing? It's been a little bit. This video was supposed to come out a lot earlier, but some things has backed me up. I'll explain that in a little bit. However, I will say that I am quite happy with the update that's coming to the game. The fact that this update alone is better than the entirety of Genshin's anniversary, but I'm also happy to have a browser that doesn't lag when I use it. Why are you still using this in 2023? Come on now. This video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a browser that you can control and cut customize as much as you possibly want but if the customization overwhelms you just a little bit you can go to the store it has store in the name everything there is completely free you click anything you want you click install boom now it's installed and it's working if you want to disable it just simply click the mods tab click remove or disable and the default browser color is red but i personally like purple purple is my favorite color so i made it purple now then another amazing thing is that you can have custom wallpapers inside of the browser you can actually have animated wallpapers too if you come over here and click get more wallpapers animate it and then just pick whatever animated wallpaper that you want and now it's just there if you want to switch it's saved here all of the wallpapers that you end up adding so you don't have to worry about searching for whatever wallpaper that you already added the browser does have sounds if you like little sound effects for things that you do inside of the browser you come over here and then click browser sounds if you want to add keyboard sounds you can go to mods you're all the way down to store it's all the way at the bottom Personally, I like Aqua Lavender Purple, but I don't like it more than Metal Pipe. You can also have background music if you want. You just gotta enable it, go to configuration, and you can choose whichever song. If you want more songs, you just have to go to the store again. There's even Minecraft, and no one hates Minecraft music. These mods also gives a nice small feature, which is when you close and open tabs. If you want to turn off the music or just disable it for a little bit, you can just come over here and then turn it off right there. Speaking of tabs on the side, you can log into your social media. It's like basically an app. You get all of your notifications and stuff with it once you log in. A great feature here is picture in a picture, meaning you can just pop this out. Now that's out there. Anywhere you go, it'll still be playing. So while that's actually playing, you, you know, multitasking, you go to your settings, type in import, scroll down, import bookmarks and settings, click import, and now all of your stuff from your other browser browsing history favorites bookmarks all that stuff is imported into this browser no problem download link in the description for that i am definitely looking forward to the updates that's coming to the game now at first i wasn't too happy on it but now it's like i, I can't explain it it's like a reassuring kind of feeling there's people who's already at like level 60 probably close to level 70 i'm trying not to just be on the game 24 7 so i don't burn myself out to be honest i don't know how people can continue to play the game all day every day especially when there's just zero what the fuck especially when there's just zero content inside of the game also i i may sound different i'm still trying to set up this mic and get it to where i want it to be the word may sound different to me it sounds different to you probably not i did say before if they added those little remodeling things inside of the event i will be really happy and they actually added those things to the event so now i don't have to have that much of a problem when it comes to the artifacts but i'm still gonna have a problem anyway because of the amount of people that i have to farm for but either way it's really good that they actually put that inside of the game also there is other projects that i'm trying to work on too now that i finally got my new equipment situated it's not fully situated because i'm still setting it up but i can actually do what i want to do now that i finally got my replacement that i've been looking for for a while now now i may not be uploading frequent or consistently but that's okay because i have some stuff that i am trying to work work on right now more videos i can't be that guy to pump out a video every day or upload like three videos in 24 hours that's just yeah, that's not happening at that point i'm just gonna feel like a robot instead of like an actual person Oh, I got Jing. I was hoping to miss the 50-50, but I ended up getting him. He's definitely gonna make Abyss a lot easier. But the issue is, I have quite literally no mat. I, I can't even build this guy. May not be uploading a shit ton, but I am streaming on a damn near daily basis at switch.tv slash Narinka. Some people still have no idea that I... Oh, God. Some people still have absolutely no idea that I even stream. Now that I'm level 50, I know that the farming is just gonna be worse now. There's a lot more stuff that I have to farm for. I just need to take this guy 
guy out at this point. Now watch when I try to get Kefka. This is just gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna get her. It's gonna take God knows how long to actually be able to do what I want to do inside of the game. A lot, a lot of building that I have to do here. You know, I said before how I don't understand how people can constantly play the game and there's nothing to do inside of here. With Genshin, it was like, I played, I played a closed beta and an open beta. So I already had more time than quite a bit of people. I personally got on Genshin every day because I enjoyed the game that much. There was quite a bit of stuff to do. Recording and streaming it also because obviously content creator stuff. So I played it because I both felt like I had to do it and I wanted to do it. But now I'm not really forcing myself to actually play the game or whatever game that much. I just play whatever I feel like playing and want to actually play. At least streaming wise. YouTube wise, I still do what I have to do. Though obviously if I really do not like the game, I won't be uploading it. I'd find something else to move on to. There are other anime games that I want to play like Weathering Waves, Blue Protocol, and all this other stuff that you probably already heard a million times. I'm like, I'm a guy who plays a lot of different games. Well, enjoy playing a lot of different games. When I have the games that I want to play. Like, I, I enjoy racing games, first-person shooters, and all kinds of other stuff. Gotcha games is something that I've played for many years, considering how long it's gonna even take me to get to the max level, or not even max level, get to a level where resources actually drop at a fair rate. Building characters takes forever. And then if you have a lot of characters, it's even worse. There's so many characters that I have to build, different elements that I also have to build just because of advantages and shit. But as I said before, with the update that they showed, I think this game will be fine with each update that they put if they actually put that much effort inside of the updates. The events are looking fine. Like genuinely, I, I feel happy knowing that there's actually something cool coming up inside of the game. Instead of just looking at the update and then being like, ah, this is fucking horrible. I don't know how people lie to themselves for so long on Genshin. I've said it numerous of times, calling out the bad stuff inside of Genshin. Anytime you call out anything bad, the white knights inside of the game will just, you're wrong. If you hate the game, just quit it. No one ever said anything about hating Genshin. Well, at least I personally never said anything about hating Genshin. It's like when you have an opinion of the game and it's not the same opinion as the other players, there's a problem. There was so many patches of Genshin where it was just like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? You play the game for like five minutes and then you've already explored all of the place that they released if it's a new map. The events that they have is not that great. Every enemy they add into the game is really goddamn easy. When I say that the game is easy, they're like, oh, you have gone you. You have, you have Eula. Even if I were to use four star characters and still win inside of the game, people would just say that I have well artifacts. What the fuck does that mean, Kanye? You can't well for artifacts. You can refresh, sure. But even then I still spent like two months and a half for one artifact on my goddamn Raiden Shogun. That wasn't fun to do. And then the strong box is also really fucking useless. And that thing only worked for me once. I hate you healing thingy. Stop. How are you still healing? You you shouldn't be, you're knocked. Nah, I'm going all out for you, buddy. We're not doing this today. I fucking hate you. To be honest, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to level up inside of the game at the beginning. Inside of this game compared to Genshin. It just feels a lot easier to level up. It's probably not actually easier and it's the same thing as Genshin, but it just feels easier to me. I used to get every single character inside of the game because I felt like I had to make a video on literally every single character that dropped inside of the game. Now I'm only going for people that I actually want to use inside of the game. Characters that I want to use, I'll actually go for and use. If I think game is bad, I say game is bad. If I think game is good, I say game is good. Holy shit, they are tanky tanky. Yeah, she, she's not that tanky though, luckily. Come on, Kafka, we can talk about this. I'm summoning for you and everything. You can't be doing this to me. I do have to end this as fast as I possibly can because she's just stacking it up with her goddamn damage. I need her to stop dominating me. Stop it! It's time! 
revived just to die. Well, GG's. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, take your anger out on the like button and sub button. We're gonna be having more videos, and hopefully I can get this project done soon. See you all again next time.